Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. Welcome, I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a reading all about how are you triggering your enemies. So um, this could come with a trigger warning, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is something that I personally want for my own, um, you know, selfish reasons. So you guys are just there to tag along on the journey. Um, but just know that all of these messages may not resonate with all of you. Um, please use your discernment always when consuming tarot content. But we're really going to look at what is it about you that makes your haters mad? Why are they so upset? What is it that triggers you? What What is it about you that triggers other people the most? So we will we'll have three pals to choose from today. Um, remember, this is a general reading. The only way to get a personal reading is to book a personal reading. And I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sending you a huge hug. Um, so let's take a look at our piles. Pile one, we have the black onyx point. Pile two, we have the nest. This is a perfume. Pile three, we have the Malachite. If you did need some more um, time, you can always pause the video here. I'm gonna go ahead though and start with pile number one. Hello, pile one, how are you guys doing? If you chose this black onyx point, then this is your reading, welcome. I'm just gonna go ahead here and tap into your energy before we, we begin. So spirit, can you please help me connect to the collective energy that chose pile number one, this black onyx point? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy here for Pile 1 so that they could have the best possible reading. We wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, for your accuracy. Thank you for everything you do. Please continue to keep Pile 1 safe, protected, and supported. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, my loves. Um... I feel this person feels very anxious around you, first of all, or I feel your haters can feel very anxious. They feel like you see right through them. Some of you are very whimsical, but I was also hearing light workers. So you could be like almost like a fairy type of energy, um, an earth angel. You have a very strong connection to like the fairy tale realm. I know that sounds weird, but that was coming through. Um, I feel like this person, again, or your haters, what's really triggering them is the fact that you are a light worker. You have a wiseness beyond your years and you always have. Some of you may be very healthy. You may like to eat a lot of vegetables or fresh um, fruit. I was also getting a lot of N names. So I was hearing Nadia, Noel, Noah, Naomi, Nina, Nia, Nathan, Nora, Nolan, Neo. Um, Matrix coming through, right? So some of you could really pick, you know, the right pill if you know what I mean. Nick, Nelly, someone here could like to listen to Nelly. Um, I was also hearing the word Natasha or the word, the name Natasha. So very interesting. I feel like there's a lot of people triggered because you do have this very ethereal presence to you. You could have a very uh, pink, white, uh, um, or almost like an angelic aura is what I'm getting here too. Pile one, please. What about them triggers their haters? We have four of swords and the hermit. You guys could be Virgo energy, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Two of Swords. Yeah, you make people hella anxious. Look at all the swords here. Oh my goodness. Um, you could have very strong Mercury in your chart, so Gemini or Virgo. Um, I feel a high degree of intelligence here as well, so this triggers other people. But what's really interesting here is I feel a lot of people dream about you, and you may in in um, you may share knowledge or information or f uh, ideas or criticisms with other people in the dream state. And so these people feel very triggered because they know that you're calling them out on their shit. Seven of Swords in the middle also makes me think that you're, you're haters, you're triggering other people because you see right through the BS. You guys have a very good sense of discernment and this makes other people around you feel very stressed. Um, you're very witty and very smart and I feel like you pick up on the subtleties that other people around you don't pick up on. And this triggers people. People are also triggered because you feel like with the Hermit card, you may feel like you don't need anybody, you know? You kind of do your own stuff. Um, you do your own thing at your own level and people about that don't like it. You might always be a little bit outside of the, the, the group. You might be considered a black sheep. But I don't really think you care about how other people view you as well, if that makes sense. You more care about yourself and you care about moving yourself forward, moving your energy forward and continuing to expand and grow and evolve. That also makes people feel really upset with you or angry. 
you don't need anybody. And I think that also triggers people. It's like, how are, is she so independent? Or how is he so independent? But you guys do a lot of astral projecting. I don't know if you know this consciously. Tell me more, please. We have false report, fake news. Yeah, you know what? You guys call people out on their bullshit and people do not like that. Nobody likes that. But I feel like this is part of your path here is you don't let people get away with, with um, dumb stuff. You really call them out and you see right through the BS. Like you guys have incredible um, eyes for breaking through, especially like if something is off, you're able to really see it very, very clearly. Tell me more. We have vehicle, movement, car, travel, truck, plane, and train. You guys, for some of you as well, people are triggered by you because you're always on the move. You're always on the go. You guys could travel a lot. You could um, explore a lot. You could always be, um, you know, stepping forward and looking at the next best thing or exploring, examining yourself, um, examining the world, learning a lot. Like you guys are always on the go. You have lots of opportunities present themselves to you as well, which makes these people very, very angry, very um, triggered by you. It's because a lot of these people feel very stuck, right? And when they're seeing you progressing and moving forward, they feel unequal to you. We also have throwing illusions at you. So again, nobody can really trick you or pull you off of your game. Um, Capricorn on the bottom of the deck, so you guys could have Capricorn energy as well in your chart, or this could be a specifically a Capricorn coming through. But Capricorn rules the 10th house, right? So you guys are kind of on a journey to success or on a journey to um, being highly visible. And I think this makes other people feel very triggered. You know, I was just thinking about this quote from Tupac, I believe. Um, this just was coming up for me in my head the other day. I think he said something along the lines of, look, like, just because you're my enemy doesn't mean I don't want to see you eat, just not at my table. And so I feel you guys are kind of like that. You're really very careful about who you let have access to your energy, and that's very triggering. You guys could eat very well, or again, you take care of your body. That triggers other people too for some reason that's coming through. You have appetite, get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, people are triggered AF by you because you push yourself towards new um, and unusual heights each and every day. Like you're always striving for growth. And I feel like this is triggering to these people who just are not striving for growth, right? Like they're still stuck in this energy here. Um, appetite to me is a very intuitive and wise stone as well. So again, you are seen as somebody with a lot of spiritual wisdom. And this is automatically triggering to people who cannot understand that. You might have a very active third eye and throat chakra. You guys might be very good writers, very good communicators, and this triggers people as well. I think for you guys, you also have this energy of maybe being around a lot of these individuals from past life connections, because I feel like there is some weird um, overlay with other lifetimes coming through here. So um, other people could feel like connected to you, but it's not all based in just this lifetime, if that makes any sense at all. Tell me more. What about pile one triggers their haters? We have epidote go deeper. Yeah. You don't like face value stuff either. You, you know, like you're, if someone's just going to talk to you at face value, you kind of get annoyed or like, you just don't even want to engage in that conversation. I feel like a lot of people around you are um, aware of that because you're constantly striving for deeper connections, deeper communication, deeper wisdom. You don't care about face value stuff. And that does trigger people around you because they feel like you're constantly bringing up things that are deeper or beyond what they're able to kind of process. And this makes people feel very, very on edge of just being around you. Yeah, this really very, very interesting energy. Um, People are very triggered by you, you guys. I think you really force people to go like deep within themselves too, and they don't like that at all. Epidote does work with the heart chakra as well. Um, so I feel again, there's like, people may have emotional responses to you for no reason, or they're not really understanding why. You're also very good manifestors. I feel this also triggers other people. Epidote is correspondent to the zodiac signs of Gemini, Virgo, and Libra, I believe. So again, we have a lot of Mercury energy coming through. Tell me more. Rose quartz, open up your heart. What the heck was I just saying, you guys? Oh my gosh. Here's the thing, you know, you living a heart-centered existence triggers people immensely because I feel like a lot of the people that you're, you're coming up against or that you're meeting 
are people who are have naturally very closed off heart chakras and so with you there's this intense energy of needing to open up and to expand as well and i just feel like there's a lot of energy here with fear um and with people feeling very much um intensely attracted and intensely overwhelmed with you because you are triggering this heart-centeredness within these individuals but you guys just are needing to live within that space anyways because that's just who you are tell me more please what about pile one triggers their haters what about pile one triggers their haters yeah we have coveting to take possession yearning material desires and comparison people constantly compare their life their lives and where they are with you and I feel like that's something I want you to be aware of here okay because I feel others are seeing you as someone who's very expanded and they see themselves as someone who's not really able to to make the same kinds of moves in their life as you are and that is very much triggering other may, other people may want what you have as well so just be aware of that please protect your energy and protect your space but you have a very unique frequency and that really drives people crazy. Um, so that's something you need to be aware of. But I don't know, I kind of feel like you guys don't really care actually how other people perceive you because you have a very powerful mission here. But you just continue to keep using your voice, continue to keep activating others, whether they can handle it or not. It's not your concern. I'm sending you a big hug. We'll talk later. No, Mojo, we still have a little bit more to go, okay, my baby? I have two more piles and then I promise we'll go. Do you understand? I love you a lot. You're so cute. You're so handsome. Hi, pal two, how are you? If you chose this, this um, Nest perfume, then this is your reading. I'm going to go ahead and tap in so that I can have the best frequency here. Um, so give me one second to tap in here. So Spirit, can you please help me connect to the energy here, pile number two, who chose this Nest perfume? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for Paul two, so that they can have the best possible reading. We wanted to say a big thank you to, to you for everything that you do. Please continue to keep pile number two safe and protected. We love you so much. We really do. We wanted to say that we really do notice and care about everything you do for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, first of all, I was hearing eyes. So some of you could have very beautiful eyes that people are triggered by. You could like to see or stare right into people's like eyes. This is really triggering, especially for people around you who may not be comfortable with that. Um, but there's also, I feel like you guys are surrounded by a lot of very boring people and you have a zest for life that's unmatched. I was also seeing snake. So you guys could be working with the um, transformative energy of a snake. People, a lot of people give snakes a bad rap. I actually love snakes. Um, they're very much, you know, sig signifying like a, a spiritual awakening, kundalini energy. But you guys could also be born in the Chinese zodiac year of the snake, like me. I'm hearing you have a zest for life. I was also getting G names coming through um, quite strongly. I was hearing Grace, Gabrielle, so you guys could work with Archangel Gabrielle, George, Gabriella, Gia, Gina, Genevieve, Gianna was coming through, Gloria, Guadalupe, Gabe, Gigi was also coming through. Um, so some of you could just have like a, a G first or last name that's really prominent here as well. But yeah, let me see if there's anything else intuitively coming through. Why are people triggered by pile twos? I feel like, again, you've really, it's like you, you don't, stay in situations that don't need like where you don't need to be like you you don't mind moving away from other people i'm hearing stevie wonders you're the sunshine of my life so i do think people are triggered because once you remove your energy there's a lot of sadness why are people triggered by pal twos temperance nine of wands knight of swords the page of coins and the page of wands okay i feel like people are triggered by you by because some of you are natural healers. Um, you guys could have air energy in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have Fire, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Some of you here could be um, very much champions or protectors of the underdog, and that triggers people. You guys could really care a lot about children. You could volunteer. You are natural healers. Oh, I forgot to say Sagittarius energy, very strongly coming through with the Temperance card, but 
having uh, temperance as the first card popping up is significant because temperance, again, is a very natural healer and it's an alchemist. So people could be triggered by you because you're constantly able to alchemize these things that are going on within your life and you're able to move past them and look towards more optimistic waters some of you are able to see beyond the veil you could have a psychic sense to you as well i am feeling that but i also feel like you're very protective of the underdog and you you stand up if someone around you is messing around um you stand up and you really do cut people down if you feel like they're out of line or if they're damaging or bullying or something like this you you have a very strong warrior spirit here I'm also hearing I remember. So some of you could be dealing with a lot of people you know from past lives, which is automatically triggering. Um, I feel like if that's the case, these people might feel very upset with you um, or they might be automatically triggered without really knowing why because it's got a basis in a different lifetime altogether. I feel as well like um, you guys work hard on what you're doing and you might be very independent workers and the people might be triggered by this because there's a sense of not really knowing what you're doing why are people triggered by, triggered by pal two why are they triggered by pal two please why are they triggered by pal two we have insurance life travel auto home liability health some of you are really taking the measures that you need in order to protect yourself so this could be financially but i also feel like you're somebody who is protected and people can sense that and that is really triggering to other people some of you may have gotten some kind of money from a payout like an insurance payout a car accident etc an inheritance and people are triggered by the fact that you have this income which i think is really ridiculous um we also have get ready surprise visit contact and message you tend to pop up in other people's lives as well not when they want you to pop up but when they need you to pop up so you have a very um significant presence for other people and I feel like um, this kind of makes people feel like they don't really know what to expect from you anyways. Like there's a little bit of being on edge and that triggers other people because they feel like they're not really sure what it is that you're going to be or what like vibrational frequency you're going to be in. When you come into these people's lives, you often serve as a catalyst. I'm hearing too good at goodbyes. So you do not care to stay in situations that you're not needing to stay in. You, you will leave very easily. Like you're not going to sit there and think about oh, what should I do differently? You're not going to cry. Like there's just a sense of moving on. You do not care at all. We have dreams to come true, celebration, wish fulfillment, and achievement. Yeah, you guys are achievers. You, you are someone who's really able to create a lot and manifest quite a lot for yourself. And this is very triggering to other people who are struggling to feel like their dreams are going to be coming true. Um, I think you guys, though, what, one thing people underestimate is the amount of hard work that you put into these things. We have old money on the bottom of the deck. So some of you might be very wealthy by your families or by association to the people around you. Um, this says legacy, birthright, destiny, and inheritance. What did I say? I think I already said that. So some of you may actually have received some kind of an inheritance. People don't understand you, pile number two, and I feel like that's the thing. I feel a lot of people get psychic readings on you. That's super weird, but that did come up. Why are people triggered by pile twos? You guys are meant to be quite successful and you're meant to have quite a lot of money. We have Amazonite loose in your grip. Yeah, people are triggered by you because you move on very quickly. You don't feel the need to hold on um, if you don't want to hold on. Like you're, you're, you do not care one bit. You will move on so quickly. People won't even be able to, to see, they'll just see like your butt walking away essentially. Yeah, Amazonite, um, you guys are very good at truth. Like you're truth seekers. I also feel like you're good at um standing up for yourself and being very clear about what it is that you're wanting as well. Well, you do not talk around other people. You are very direct. Your, your um, heart chakra is very active and your throat chakra. So you're able to speak your heart's truth and you do share messages with the world. Some of you could have like a channel or something like this as well. I feel you're a very good communicator, but for some reason that's triggering to other people. Some of you could have Virgo in your chart because I believe Amazonite is associated with the zodiac sign of Virgo. You guys are very eloquent and that triggers people as well. Um, and you're very honest and that can be very, very triggering. Again, I think people are really, when you, when they meet you, it's almost like when they need to meet you, not necessarily when they want to meet you. 
you don't follow anyone. You bark, you, this is very much like march to the beat of your own drum. We have rhodochrosite, remember your worth, and one more. We have rainbow obsidian, open up your heart. A lot of heart chakra stuff here. People are definitely um, triggered within their heart chakras around you, which I think is quite interesting, um, if I'm being honest. I feel like that's something that people are very surprised by. But you don't let other people treat you poorly ever. Like you guys are very protective of yourself. Um, I feel like there's a lot of self-love which automatically triggers people. You guys have done a lot of healing from um, childhood or you could have even been doing a lot of healing from past lives. This does trigger people as well. Look, the thing is, and I guess you got temperance is the first card, but when you are healed, you will fundamentally trigger people who are not healed. And that's something I want you to be aware of. You're also able to achieve a high degree of empathy for other people. And I feel you have a focus. So like you, when you want to do something, you create what you want because you're very highly focused and that triggers other people too. We have children. Innocence, inner child, connection with source and creative abilities. Okay, some of you, I have to say this, I forgot to say this here too, but we have these two child cards here. So some of you, people could be triggered by your children, which is crazy, but that is coming through because you guys could have children that are um, light workers, uh, rainbow children, indigo children, etc. But also you guys could be protecting children. This could trigger people who would like to harm, you know, younger people, which is, you know, there are people like that, but you're a champion for protection. And I feel as well, you've healed your inner child, which is very triggering to those around you who have not healed um, their inner child. So there's a lot of projection onto you as well, which I think you might be feeling. Very interesting, pal, too. That is what I have for you guys. Um, whatever you're doing, you keep doing what you're doing because I feel like you guys are on a path that's very unique to you. And that could also be triggering um, other people. You're very protected and you're very respected as well in the spiritual realm, I can hear that. So just continue to, to work with that energy, okay? Okay, hi pile three. If you chose this Malachite crystal, then this is your reading. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and tap in before we begin. So spirit, can you please help me tap into the energy here of pile number three who chose the Malachite? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy here for pile three so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you for everything that you do and that you continue to do. We appreciate you so much. We love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, some okay, the med immediately I was hearing petite, so some of you could be petite here, um, or people are jealous of your body. I was also hearing morning. So some of you could be a morning person. And for some reason, people are jealous of you about that, which I think is hilarious. I was getting a lot of H names coming through. I was hearing Harper, Henry, Hayden, Hannah, Hazel. Um, someone here could have hazel eyes, which are a source of jealousy. Hunter. Um, someone here could actually be a hunter or you could have a hunter archetype, which is a very powerful archetype that could make people triggered. Hope, Heaven, Helen, Holly, Hector, Hayes, Helen, Harlow, Heather, Harvey, Haley. Um, yeah, you guys can be very hopeful or filled with hope. And there is also that sense of protection that's naturally around you, I feel. Pile number three, please talk to me about pile number three. Please talk to me about pile number three. Please talk to me. Why are people triggered by pile three? Talk to me. The world, wow, okay. Ace of Swords, okay. Why are people triggered by pile threes, please? The Fool, oh my goodness, okay. Um, why are people triggered by pile three, please? Page of Wands. Why are people triggered by pile three, please? The Magician. Oh my gosh. Okay, very powerful energy. Holy smokes. Um, so I think why people are mostly triggered by you is because you're about to have or you have already started to embark on a new journey. We have the Fool, which is the zero card. The Magician is the one card. Aries energy coming through, by the way, very strongly. You could have very, very strong fire placements in your chart. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But you guys are really creating a brand new world for yourself and you are not stopping for anybody. That is incredibly triggering to other people. Some of you could have a very good voice. Um, or you, you might be very good writers or you're just very good communicators. When you talk, people listen for sure. I'm hearing you're awesome. So I think you might get a lot of public recognition or a lot of people publicly um, noticing you or wanting to talk to you about you know yourself or people just see you in a very special light. Some of you are going back to school. People are jealous of your education or they're jealous of what you're able to create with your education. Some of you could be educators or you will be a very powerful um, educator. I'm seeing the spirit, uh, 
animal here or the spirit, spirit protector of jellyfish, which I think is really interesting. I haven't seen jellyfish in a very long time and I want to know here, what, why are you here? Why are you here, jellyfish? What do you need to say? I'm hearing stubborn, okay? So one of the things that could be coming up here is you guys are a, a little bit um, stubborn. I'm also hearing beauty. So there could be a beauty that is naturally present with you or, or just you're a good looking person. I'm hearing regeneration and being in flow. So I think many of you guys are working with um, regenerating yourselves, being in flow, stepping forward with a lot of... Um, trust in spirit as well. But if you think about jellyfish too, they sting, right? So I feel people know that they cannot cross you. Very interesting. I haven't seen jellyfish coming through in a long time. Wow. Some of you could be very intuitive. You could be very smart and you could be very good at picking up on other people's energies. You guys have cleansed and healed a lot. Some of you, I'm also thinking of the jellyfish sting. Some of you could have gone through a significant illness and now you're on the other side of that and people are triggered by the fact that you're just healing and you're growing. Pile number two, three, please tell me more. Why are people triggered by pile three? Someone you could have a, a jellyfish tattoo. You have vacation, trip, peace, time off, rest, travel, break, alone time. Some of you are traveling a lot or you're going to be traveling a lot. People will be very triggered by that. You're going to places that are um, very unique, very special, and very much one of a kind. And people are triggered by that as well. I feel people see you as like, um, they can't really catch you, you know? I'm hearing catch me if you can, Mr. Holmes. Some of you are really able to, you have the resources available to see other places and that is very triggering to people. We have censorship, shut you up, block you, stop you from telling the truth. Some of you, I feel, have a very powerful story to tell and people could be very triggered by what it is that you're saying. Um, you're being asked to just continue to push through and say what needs to be said because whatever it is that you're saying is very important and significant to lots of people. You call out bad behavior and you guys, for, okay, this is, is a trigger warning, but some of you could have been um, a survivor of um, sexual assault. And I feel like there's something very triggering about you telling your story, but you guys are, you need to tell your story. If that's of course something that you're feeling called to do, don't let anybody shut you up. Some of you have been through a shit ton, like a ton of stuff. And now you're finally thriving and that's what's triggering other people. You guys also have very unique perspective is what I'm hearing as well. Angels, 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 angels. You guys might be working with angels or supported by angels. Endangered company ops in the camp, yeah. I feel for you, oftentimes people are triggered. Um, the people who are triggered are the people who are closest to you, which I think is interesting. Um, I also feel like you guys could be about to enter a period of time where you were going to be very lucky in love, and that's going to be triggering a lot of people as well around you, which is super interesting. We have scorned lover. Um, lover, friend, revenge, schemes, drama, and plots. You guys could also have a lot of your past lovers triggered by the fact that you're moving on um, and that you are expanding. You know, the fact that you are clearing and stepping into more of a sense of beauty, beauty and hope and um, new adventures. This is triggering a person from the past who could be um, a past lover here as well because they don't want you to move on. Tell me more, please. How does pile three trigger others? How does pile three trigger their haters? You have Malachi, it's time to transform. Hey, you guys, look at this. I love when that happens. I love it. Talk about synchronicities. Hey, you guys might want to work with Malachi. 100% if you're not working with Malachi, get yourself a piece of Malachi. It's pretty um, easily found and it's not super, super expensive either, but you guys are transforming like nobody's business. Malachite's considered to me a guardian stone, so people could be triggered because you're quite protected. Um, you could also be very good at sensing danger. And I want you guys to continue to move forward with the knowledge that you are safe and protected here as well, okay? You're very, very protected. You're stepping into spiritual growth and awareness as well. Heart chakra energy coming through. All three piles had heart chakra energy, actually. We have agate, get back into balance. And we have Rose Quartz, open up your heart. Well, what was I just saying? Yeah, you guys are, are self-love is a big thing for you right now too, but you've also managed to bring yourself back into balance after a period of time where you felt very, very um, unbalanced. 
And I feel like agate is helping you move forward with a steady awareness that you're highly protected. It's also helping you to be nourished by the earth. Some of you are taking care of your body. You look good. You're, full, you're, you're like just shining. And there's a lot of beautiful energy coming your way, especially with feeling um, uplifted. I feel like my heart is soaring. That's how I feel right now, which is just beautiful. You guys are very much stepping into a period of life where you're going to see a lot of really, really powerful things coming your way. Very quick manifestations. This is going to be triggering to other people as well. Wow. Beautiful energy. My goodness. I'm hearing funny. So you guys might be very funny. That could be triggering to other people. I feel a lot of people have been longing for you or crying um, over you, which I think is really interesting, but that is coming through. What else here? What else, please? What are people triggered by and when it comes to pile number um, threes? We have adapting, thinking outside of the box, evolving, transforming, changing it up. We have transform coming up twice, you guys. Transformers, unite. You guys are like stepping into this really incredible time. Holy smokes, I'm very excited for this group. You're being asked to continue to um, step forward. Someone here could be traveling to Budapest super sick, super um, specific, but that's coming through or you could have somebody in Budapest who's very triggered by you. But you guys are stepping into like this, this state of awareness, this state of growth that is beyond anything I think that you would ever um, see as possible. You're going to be creating this very magical time where you're going to have a lot of joy and um, inner awareness coming up as well. But you guys are uprising and I think you're entering this very, very incredible, significant time where you're going to be feeling like lots of things are coming your way very rapidly. And this is going to trigger other people. But you know what? You guys are the Malachite crystal. You are there to transform and you are stepping into a very, very powerful time. Focus on the manifestations you want because you are very much transforming and attracting and stepping into growth beyond even your wildest dreams. Okay. So that is what I have. What a beautiful reading. Oh my gosh. I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you a hug. Bye-bye.